Whoa. What's going on, everybody? Eddie from EB Fitness. Welcome to the video. Uh, this video is, I think, uh, chest and tries or shoulder traps. What did I post last? Posted back last. Shoulder traps. This is shoulder trap day, boys. Um, so, yeah, I'm editing right now where I'm going to start to. So, um, I guess kind of the plan that I have for the next few days is I have a 10 sub special, which um, isn't really my best, I guess. You know, I don't really like it, honestly. I feel like I could do better, but um, nonetheless, it is something that I can do that I can maybe continue to the next milestone. So, you'll see what I'm talking about later. Um, personally, I wouldn't get super hyped about it, but anyways, um, I'm going to have some footage coming out soon because I have a lot of stuff backed up that I have to get rid of, so... Um, yeah, a lot of stuff backed up that needs to be get, get, get gotten rid of, and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to be editing, uploading, and I'll see you guys in the next clip, and I'll be have a good one, and I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. What's going on guys, it's Eddie with the post commentary and I just recorded a commentary actually this video but um, I sounded like tired because I am. It's 6.37 when I'm recording this right now and um, oh, I'm so tired, it's near the end of the week and uh, waking up early it kind of gets tough near the end of the week. But anyways, here we have some standing face pulls and um, I, I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to show you guys this because this is what I start out pretty much every shoulder trap day uh, with and I used to do on the lat pull down machine all those guys who watched my first videos um, know what I'm talking about <laughs> if anyone even watched those videos but I used to do on the lat pull down machine and I said if your shoulders are bugging you not to really try it and that's true because it does kind of mess with your shoulders so I decided to kind of stop doing that and do more of the standing variation of that all right so here we go. Uh, so what you can do for shoulder day, shoulder, shoulder, shoulders, shoulder day, is you can kind of split it up into two parts. You can do your compounds. When you get you got your compounds and your isometrics, right? Uh, your compounds are like your standing military press, which is what I'm doing right here. Uh, your dumbbell press, your Arnold press, those things. They work multiple areas of the shoulder. Um, in one movement pretty much so an example of a compound uh, but for your chest would be like bench press so yeah and then um, that's kind of way to think about it um, that's what I've been doing recently is I kind of I do my compounds and get those out of the way and then do my isometrics like my uh, lateral raises and and things like that um here in this military press footage I'm trying to keep it 8 to 10 reps and um, what you're seeing right now, uh, this kind of s how I'm doing these military shoulder presses, I've actually figured out a better way to do it that I feel um, uh, recruits the muscle more. Yeah, I'm going to say that recruits the muscle more. And I do sh a standing military press, and then I back it up. Or not, not back it up, but it was superset with behind the head press. Behind, standing behind the head I'm not sure if it's still called behind the head press or behind the head military press. I think it's just called behind the head press. I'm going to get some footage of that for you guys and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Because that will kill your shoulders in the best way possible. And it is awesome. And I totally just destroyed that right there and just slammed the freaking bar down. It was insane. But, um, I like my shirt, the shirt that I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can read it. It says, calm down, bro. It's PE, not the Olympics. I think it's kind of funny. And I know a few people that that would apply to, so... <laughs> I think it's kind of a cool t-shirt um, so here I am dropping the weight um, making sure I kinda hit around 8 reps and yeah I have a lot of footage in this in this video and I'm happy that I was able to get it and it's, this is right after the uh, the back day my first back day footage ever I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna call it my first back day footage ever so that's sick and I'm kinda pumping these videos out now um, because, like I said, an issue that I have is I get the I get the clips and then I don't edit them and I don't upload the videos. So I gotta make sure that I upload these. And this is actually a week late. Um, today, 
is February 5th. Um, this was recorded on January 29th, so this is a week ago. Um, so I kind of got to get on the ball and do this better and faster because um, uh, I have ideas and things that I say uh, before I go to the gym, after I go to the gym, and those kind of ideas I want to I want to carry into the post commentary, but I can't because they're weeks apart, and that's it's, that's ridiculous. So um, what did I dismiss? Uh, I missed shoulder press, dumbbell shoulder press. So I did some dumbbell shoulder press. I did this after my military presses, um, but I think what I'm going to start to do is do my dumbbell shoulder press before my military press. I like the dumbbell shoulder press. I think I'm going to start with that. And yeah, so we're going to have the lateral side raises. And this is a totally new angle for you guys. And I like it. I think it's cool. It's off the mirror. It's kind of a creative shot. I, I kind of got this idea from Ryan. Uh, at Esoteric Fitness, he did Arnold Press, and he kind of shot the camera off the mirror, so I thought it was kind of creative, so I put my own twist on it, sort of, and did with the lateral side raises, and of course, I'm doing no thumb, and, man, I actually recorded so many sets of lateral side raises that I actually had to cut, like, all of them out, because it was just, like, ridiculous. It was, like, four, like, three minutes of just fast-forward and that was insane. I kind of turn my camera on, record what happens, and then edit it later. So uh, I got a lot, a lot of footage. I had to really cut it down. <sighs> Unfortunately, though, with all the footage that I have, I have nothing of front raises. Um, but I always do front raises. You got to make sure that you train all the parts of your of your body. I guess, <laughs> I guess, I guess you could say. So like, if you're training. You're training, uh, you're training chest, right? For example, training chest. You don't just want to go in there and train upper chest, right? That would be kind of weird for most people, unless you have some specific training program. But most people, you go in, you train chest as a full. You train upper chest. You train uh, lower chest. You train the entire chest. Same with tricep. A tricep, you train the the lateral head, the long head, and the intermedial head, and all those things. Like same with shoulders. Why don't I just say shoulders? Because it's a shoulder video. Oh, man. You train the front, side, and rear delt. You gotta train all of it to make sure you have a well-rounded physique, and that's important. You don't want to have no rear delts whatsoever, no front delts whatsoever, and you gotta focus on your meat points and make sure you bring those up. And um, I'm kind of ranting right now, but here we have my last notes that I'm gonna say on this commentary. Is here I have some shrugs. And what I was doing is I started at 60 pounds and went down to 45 pounds right away, no rest, kind of a huge superset, I guess you could call it. And um, the form kind of gets us bad near the end, but I got I got to push through it. And this is becoming one of my favorite uh, trap exercises, just going down and doing the shrugs. And I did it twice, only recorded it once, did two sets of this because uh, it was so awesome and it just felt so good. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, this has been Eddie from EB Fitness. And I'll see you guys in the next one. One more. The last one. Yeah. Uh -huh.